the Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Hello. Always. Hello. Oh, we pop it. Hey, hey, we pop it. Hello. Hello, everyone. For, thank you for joining. I'm waiting for some more people to get on because this topic right here is fire. Production. Hey, Internet. I told you, girl, we was, we was, I was coming back. And uh, I am back. <laughs> Guess I can move on down. <laughs> Girl, what's going on? How was your Thanksgiving? Hello, how y'all feeling out there? How was y'all Thanksgiving? Mine's was great. I I got me some rest. I know, I know. <laughs> my bad, my bad. You know, I just I basically took that time and I just rested up. What's up, bruh? What's up? How y'all feeling? How was y'all Thanksgiving out there? I wanna know how y'all Thanksgiving was. How y'all week going so far? What's up? Woo, this topic right here. She said it was cool. All right, all right, all right. Good looking. Thank you for chiming in. Keith, good looking. Thank you for chiming in um, as well. Um, I missed you guys. I did. I, I, I missed you guys, like, for real. <laughs> hey, Patrice. <laughs> for real, I missed y'all, like, for real. So look, we're gonna jump into some um some local news and then we're gonna get into what we need to get into because this topic is fire right here. And you know what? I'm not gonna hold anything back. Like I've been trying to be a little conservative and um but nah ain't doing it this time because <laughs> I got some stuff on my mind, y'all. So listen. Now you know they did they just did a report and it said Genesee County rates. Hold up, let me make sure it's right. Rates the highest of the gonorrhea transmission. AKA the clap. So they rank the highest right now, Genesee County. What y'all feel about that? <laughs> What do y'all feel about that? That's kind of crazy. Patrice, your big bro miss you. If you can read that, Keith just said that to you. <laughs> but really, y'all, they saying that Genesee County, like, we at the highest for gonorrhea right now. See, this is something that I, do. I don't want, I don't really watch the news. So when I get the news, I try to report the news. But that's kind of crazy, yo. Like, for real, how is we... How is we rating the highest in gonorrhea in 2017? <laughs> and Jeanette said nasty asses. But for real, it goes a little deeper than that. Like, for real. How? How is that possible? See, but people, I I'm just saying that that's the report that just came out. We rating the highest right now in, in gonorrhea. Genesee County is. So I don't care if you live in Burton or wherever you live in Grand Blank. If you're part of Genesee County, yeah, you're among the highest in gonorrhea. It's very sad. It's very sad because we have health care here. And we have free health care. But the reports are saying people are just not protecting themselves. Ooh, and that kind of go hand in hand with the hot topic tonight. Anyway, so they had a shooting on court and Beecher. One is deceased um, at the gas station. So check on your people and, you know, be on the lookout. It's that time of year, but it's, you know, doesn't matter if it's that time of year. Just be on the lookout all the time. You know what I'm saying? Be aware of your surroundings and protect yourself because... I don't know what happened, but just, hey, 
you know, could have been at the wrong place, wrong time. Somebody getting some gas and pow, pow, pow. Don't know. Woo! I guess the Flint police received a 3% raise. Okay, in other news. <laughs> and the Flint City Councilman avoids jail for pawning the city laptop for loans. I'm just going to sit there here. So he avoids Mr. Mays. Um, he avoids jail time. This happened today. This happened this afternoon. Hmm. Yeah. So always check on your. When I say check on your people, check on your people. Um. And like I was just saying, Flint City Councilman Eric Mays avoids jail time for pawning the city laptop for loans. You know, I feel like that Tyra Banks. You know that she got that meme, and then she'd be like, "We were all rooting for you. We were all because <laughs> we were. We was rooting for you. Like if you're supposed to be city council, why is you pining laptops? Like I'm gonna say what needs to be said. I'm for real. I'm gonna say what other people are thinking, but not they don't want to say. Why is you pining the laptop? Did anybody ever find out why he pining the laptop? Not just any laptop. It's the city's laptop. Like. Why? Why? Like if y'all can find out that answer. Let me know. And if you see him. if you Look. Tag him in the video. Because we want to know the answers. Like why? And I guess when anybody pawn anything. I guess you, you at that time. You need the cash. But come on. Because. One of those ones is rooting for Eric Mays. I am. So, I'm not going to slaver him. I'm just saying. Shit, stop pining they shit. Because they're going to keep writing articles about you. Anywho. And if you have been tagged in this video and you don't want to be tagged, just click on tag. Anywho. And we're moving on to the hot topic of tonight. And that hot topic is toxic relationships. <laughs> toxic relationships hey hey jihad how you doing thank you for chiming in joining us um i kind of it's stuffed up but a little bit but tonight hot topic is toxic relationships that's the topic what y'all think about that you know what now a toxic relationship can be exactly just what i just said it could be a relationship with with your parents it could be a relationship with your significant other it could be you know your brother your sister whatever but a toxic relationship and how that is affecting you how do toxic relationships affect people how do they affect you have you ever been in a toxic relationship please share your story because right now <sighs> um, somebody, and I'm not gonna even give no names, but I'm just gonna keep it real. Um, somebody had me pick them up, and they were they're in a toxic relationship, so they they're kind of they're bickering back and forth. Ooh, ooh, Jaha said I didn't even see that, so let me like zoom back. <laughs> he said bad kids can make a relationship toxic. Okay, Jaha, explain. Explain that one. I feel you 100%. You're talking about like disrespectful, um, untrained children. Hey, Roderick, what's going on? Thank you for coming back to No Filter News and Talk. I, I missed y'all. <laughs> well, look, you missed, the, um, you missed the local news. But since you guys just joined back on, I'm pretty sure y'all seen the article where it says Genesee County, we uh, we rate highest. I think it says the third highest in the gonorrhea transmission. So folk around here giving folk the clap. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. I don't mean to laugh. But we still got high, we have a high gonorrhea case around these parks. So you got to protect Anything around you, no. So when y'all out there sharing different things and 
Hey, Shanice, how you doing? Thank you for coming back to No Filter News and Talk. Um, I'm just saying, we, we was talking about this Genesee County. Um, how y'all feel about Genesee County rating the highest in the gonorrhea case? He said, if they disrespect and try to fight you and their mom. Angela, I can see the comments, Angela. So I'm gonna tell you to refresh your page. Roderick Morrell, he just said, uh, green throw up sick face. <laughs> yes, Genesee County, we are at the highest. But going back to uh, the hot topic, and Jihad was saying that bad children can make a relationship. Let me go back. Let me read you word from word. He said, bad kids can make a relationship toxic. And then he proceeded to say, if they disrespect you, if they disrespect and try to fight you and their mom. So, are we talking about bad kids or are we talking about adults, adult children? Mm, that's kind of, that's kind of cold. I had never had to deal with that one. Now, Roderick says no home training at all. Mmm, right. He said their parents are in the late 20s and the kids are teenagers. <laughs> and Jeanette says she see the comments now. Ooh, 13 and under? Yeah, yeah. That's kind of, his kids are 13 and under. Yeah, well, she will have to get her house under control. That 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 can make a relationship toxic. I feel you one hundred percent. Wow. So I'm just trying to I'm trying to see like okay y'all out and y'all having the family outing and y'all chilling and the kid just being disrespectful um, and just don't want to cooperate and but it's not your kid but it's her kid. Well, I, I can strongly feel how that can be toxic in a relationship. But you know what? That's, that says a lot about that woman, too. I, I mean, I know that the woman might be tired, but that says a lot about a woman. Because I believe in order. And your kids shouldn't be arguing with your man or your significant other. What y'all think? For real, like, so if she can't get her kids in order, I mean, it's time for you to just tighten up them Nikes. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. I don't even, I do not mean to laugh. But for real, that's terrible. See, and okay, so I was picking somebody up. And so they were in the car and they're chilling. And then they, they had got into it with their significant other. And it's all of these name calling. They disrespecting each other over the phone. I'm like, aren't we too old for that? Like, who sits up and argue all the time? That's a toxic relationship. Hey, hey, Bobby. How you doing? How you doing? He said, no, your kids should respect who you with. That's what I'm saying. They should respect who you, they should not be arguing with your significant other. And they should respect who you with. I agree with you, Jahai. They they shouldn't even have that type of communication. Like, like, you know, if they don't like each other or or, or, or just say the child, okay? Because we're gonna put ourselves in the child shoes so just say the child is not feeling that person they just don't like them for some apparent reason they just don't like them that don't mean that they supposed to disrespect that person though oh i am sweating like a hero it's like <laughs> production i need a fan asap <laughs> had to call production y'all i got these big bright Beautiful lights on me, but they just got me swag. They sweating out my edges. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, he said, he said, I hate to argue. It leads to saying stuff you don't mean. Exactly. Totally exactly. I totally agree. And to me, that's just petty. 
right here. It's just, it, I don't understand. Like, people would just sit there and argue all day. Thank you. <sighs> yes, I have my production company. <laughs> hey, Gordon. <laughs> I had to call production to get my fan. Now I feel so much better. Woo. <laughs> hey, cuz. Hey, Philip. What's going on? We are into our hot topic, and we are talking about um, toxic relationships. And it, it could be any type of relationship. It could be brother, sister, cousin. It could be your significant other. But we're talking about toxic relationships. And you know, when you in a toxic relationship, I might have to cut my fan down. Uh, you know, when you in a toxic relationship, you feel drained. Like, you, that relationship does not bring out the best in you. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to even, I'm not going to even read your comment. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just saying, I call for that. You know what? I'm ignoring you. <laughs> but seriously, a toxic relationship can drain you. Like, you can't even be the best that you want to be because you're dealing with the drama. In a toxic relationship, it could be, okay, if we talk about significant other, we could talk about just say if that person is unhappy with themselves. <laughs> I'm, not even, <laughs> I'm not even read that. <laughs> you know what? You play entirely too much. That is.